Hello viewers and welcome to your first Unity tutorial by Easy Demon. Now, uh, what I'm gonna be teaching you in this tutorial is how to make games with Unity. And uh, before we can actually start making games, we need to we need to understand a couple things about this program. So what Unity is is basically a game engine. Well, it explains itself. It's an engine that's used to make games. And uh, the the basic concept of it is like a drag and drop concept. See, for for example, I I have an object. I will explain later how to do all this. I have an object. Let's make it bigger so you can see. Just like that. See, there's an object. And what if I want to look through that object? So I have the camera here. Let me so you can see that. And notice that this is all done visually and not coding, uh, not with code. So I can just drag and put this camera inside of this cube, just like that. Wait a second. Well, you get the point. And then all I have to do is, in the hierarchy right here, I just drag and drop it onto there, and then this camera object becomes the child of this cube object. Now this is also good for not only putting mel melding objects but also scripts. Now what we use scripts for this ro program is to give the object meaning. I mean right now just a meaningless object floating in space. But um, once once we give it a script that tells it what to do and gives it basically a purpose in the world, otherwise it's just like scenery. So today um. For as an example, I'm going to show you how to make um, a player, like you know, a player object that you can play through. That's its purpose. That you can play through. So I'm going to use this cube, not as my player, but as um, as ground to walk on. It's just very basic ground. I don't need anything to it. It's just like that. So you have a platform to walk on. Now, um, to create a player, you have to have a camera to look through, which I just deleted. And here we go, another camera. And the way we create objects is simply going object, create other, and you have your um, lovely choice of objects. Now, for the player, I'm just going to use like a uh, sphere. Yeah, a sphere. I think it's fair. Yeah, just plain sphere. You know, for example. And then I'm going to position, first of all I'm going to position the camera, and I'm going to focus to it by pressing F, and then we have focus on it. Then I'm going to position it with the view right outside of the sphere. Alright, now that we got that, hold on, let's make that a bit smaller. Let's move that. This is just a lot of little details that I just like to keep neat. Just to have my everything visually organized. There we go, then place the camera inside of the sphere. And we name this object Player. Um Yeah, um I want you to notice all also this here. This is all the objects like uh, components, right? So it comes every object you create from here comes with a default component of um, mesh filter, collider, a mesh renderer, and a transform. This um, component is in charge of its position in the world. This is in charge of its collisions, which will not al always be used. Sometimes you just want to have objects you can go through. This I don't really know what it does. It's something visually. I'm not sure yet. And this it, it renders it. You have materials here that you can put on it, like skins and stuff, and receive shadows, cast shadows, and everything. All right. So um, once you get that cleared, um, let's name this floor. Floor. Just like that. Um, let's zoom out. And you see we have this here, but all we have, all we do now is we just have like a camera inside of a sphere, and that's all. 
but what we uh, what we want to do is to have it move according to the keys so I have a little a little um player script I have already made I'm not gonna show you it now I'm just well I'm I'm gonna show you but I'm not gonna explain it this will come in the next tutorial I just want you to get the basic concept for now so um to test out what we have so far let's just press the play button see this is what we have it's notice it's dark since we didn't put a light and we can't move or anything I'm pressing the keys if you can't see um, now uh, before we get that player script in let's just make a light so we can actually see what we're doing um, go to create other and point light um, I create point light because it's simply th it's just the simplest light now you see we have this yellow ball around the light that's the range of the light that's how far the light can get so I'm gonna make this up to like 50 uh, 100 yeah that's what I want I'm gonna make this floor smaller because I think it's just a bit big. Just like that. And move the player a bit to the center. Everything's set up. Oh, and one more thing. This is the color of the light. You can change the color of the light to whatever you want according to the scene you want. And this like blue gives it a bit of a nighty nighty effect. I just like to keep it white for now. So yeah, and uh, oh, also yellow. Just it's like sun. Well, not that yellow, but you get the the point. And intensity is how strong the light is. It's like that. Look, the value is changing from zero, and I'm just gonna keep it at the default value of one. Right. So now let's look at what we have now. There are much better looking scene. <laughs> All right. And the last thing we need before we actually attach our controller, which is the player script, we need to add a component to the player called rigid body. Now, what this does is uh, you see we have it here in the components. This makes it like a physical object, like a physical being. So, say you have a ball, like in real life, and you touch that and you push that ball, the ball moves away. Well, just like that ball moves away, it also the rigid body. So it's like basically a physical. It turns into a physical object with gravity and everything. So we just want that for like a realistic effect, so it won't look like just a a dumb sphere, you know. So um, you'll see we also fall down once we have the rigid body, because we're an object. We're we're a real object, no longer a game object. So um I'm just gonna import my uh my uh walker, you know, my player script import. Um hold on just a sec, I'll be right with you. Alright, all done. I have prepared the script for moving. Now I'm not going to explain this to you, I'm just going to attach this to our player object. Just like that. And now you see we have the components here. And also a special th thing about Unity is that the scripts, they their variables also appear here. So you can adjust the speed for every different object that's using the same script. So for example, if we had two players, so we duplicate this, we can have this player like speed of two and uh this player this one speed of seven two hundred and seven no seven so you could just adjust this and play around with this as much as you want and and it's really it gives you really dynamic um games that is the result so I'm just gonna give an example here. This is unexpected. Looks like I haven't prepared well enough. Well, just one sec, and I'll be right with you. Alright, excuse me for that, and I found out why it was uh, so, um, like, crappy. Excuse me. Um, It's because the character controller al already comes with a rigid body script in it, so we're going to have to remove this, otherwise it just goes crazy. 
And w once we remove this and we attached our player script, click play. And there we go, we're smoothly turning and walking around and even jumping. And uh, that's all for this tutorial for now. Be sure to check out the next one. Um, we're actually going to start programming our game after some basic concepts. So, um, uh, see you next time and, uh, well, peace out. <laughs>